This is the generalizer pump diaphragm replacement. We're replacing the diaphragm. So the tools required for this job will be a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a 964 Allen driver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a set of four diaphragms, and four gaskets. Begin by removing the four cover screws using a number two ball driver or Allen wrench. and the cover simply lifts off. All right, so we'll begin by going to the power supply here and removing the protective cover. I'll take a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver, remove the first terminal, simply unscrew it. That's the positive terminal. They'll be removing the negative. All right. Next, I'll be removing the two connectors here. Just simply pull straight back. Next, we'll remove the tubing. Use a flat, flat blade screwdriver to remove the worm clamps. Worm drive clamps, I should say. These tubes simply pull off. You can use a screwdriver to give them a bit of a push to break the seal first. Just work your way around it. And the two smaller tubes, same thing, no clamps though. These are much easier, they just pull off. Let's get them started. Okay. Next, depending on the model of the pump, you'll either have Phillips head screws for the mounting base or you'll have Allen. If it's Allen, you will need a 964th driver. Go ahead and remove all four of those. Pump can now be removed from the chassis. Now to the diaphragm replacement. 
So first you'll want to remove either end of this connecting tube here. If I can do this from this angle. Next, before removing the block, there's three seams here, or two seams, my bad. You want to tape the two outer ones together on the top and the bottom to prevent the block from separating when you remove it. Next, remove the four screws. Set that to the side for now. Next, we'll be removing the top cover, four Phillips head screws. Okay, now to replace the diaphragm, this is the diaphragm here. You want to push from the inside out. It's hard to do it from this angle. Okay. And the diaphragm simply unscrews, it may take a little bit of force to do so. Grab the edge of the diaphragm and twist. All that. <laughs> On the diaphragm that you remove, there will be some stacked washers. The number of washers can vary depending on how KNF balances at the factory. You'll want to make sure you don't lose those and tra transfer them onto the new diaphragm. Next, install the diaphragm is simply just rotate clockwise.
make sure this is good and tight, otherwise it will work loose during operation. Go and work the diaphragm in, make sure it's fully seated. Make sure there's nothing sticking out like that. You can use tweezers or a small flat blade screwdriver, whatever will fit in there. Okay, next go ahead and you can go ahead and reinstall the top cover once all, all diaphragms have been replaced. Next, we'll be replacing the O-rings and gaskets inside the manifold. So I'm going to remove one piece of tape. Go ahead and unfold it like so. Remove the old gaskets. Make sure these are rested inside the, the grooves there. Once it's clamped together, go ahead and put the tape back on. Reinstall the block before Phillips head screws. When tightening the manifold screws, you'll want to make sure you tighten them evenly. Don't torque one side all the way down at once. all for a snug. Go ahead and tighten everything down good and tight. Simply repeat for all four corners. I recommend doing only one corner at a time so you can keep track of what you've replaced. Tube simply slides back on. Go ahead and reinstall the mounting bracket screws.
bullet tubes simply slide back onto the fittings. Tighten the clamps back down. and reinstall the hour meter connectors. Install the wires. Now it is marked on the power supply, negative and positive. install the cover. Then just go over everything, make sure the wires aren't resting on the pump because the pump will vibrate quite a bit and damage the wires. There are also some wires that go in between the pump and the power supply. Make sure they're not rubbing against the corner of the power supply or up and over the bracket coming into contact with the pump. That's it.